Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're looking at an ink from the Robert Oster line. Uh, it is Avocado. This comes from the, the recent 1970s uh, collection, colours inspired by uh, that wonderful retro decade. Uh, let's look at it in more detail and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Well here we are with a Robert Oster Avocado which is a really interesting sort of um, pastel sort of green. Uh, which I think suits the name Avocado really, really beautifully. You can see it sort of shades quite well. This is just some sort of regular cardstock, um, but it's got some really nice sort of colour in there. Um, let's just do a couple of comparisons while we're here. Uh, another Robert Oster, just to compare it to, uh, is Sublime, uh, just so you can see just sort of that pastel uh, nature of the ink. And another Australian ink, a Bookbinders Emerald Boa, uh, which I don't think is available anymore. Uh, and then just for a darker uh, ink and from another brand, we've got Pilot Roshizuku Shin Ryoku. Uh, so that gives an indication just sort of how light this ink uh, is and that sort of that pastel sort of nature of the ink. If we look at the uh, chromatography here, you see that the ink is, um, there's a lot of sort of depth in the ink which you expect from Robert Oster inks these days. Got some nice sort of blue uh, and then the green there. And a really interesting sort of pink, which I think adds to that sort of depth of the pastel nature uh, of the ink. Okay, um, what I wanted to do is show you some uh, now written tests uh, on this uh, Rhodia 80 gram uh, paper. Uh, you can see it actually, it does shade quite nicely. There's quite a lot of sort of depth uh, to the ink. You, know, you can see some nice shading particularly around there. And this is done with a Twisby Eco uh, Broad nib. As I say, it's a nice gently saturated ink with a slightly muted green. Uh, nice ret retro shade and dries looking a lot like its namesake. Um, this isn't a high sheening ink. Uh, in fact, it's virtually no sheening. Uh, I couldn't get any on any of the paper I uh, tried this on. Uh, so let's have a quick look at it on some other paper just very quickly. So we'll start with the high end, and we'll, which is the Tomo River paper. You can see there's no real sheen there to speak of, and I put quite a lot of ink down uh, for that uh, little swab there. Uh, but it shades nicely, and as you can see, apart from where I put down a huge amount of ink for that, nothing has come through. It's performed really, really well. If we move down the line, now we get to the sort of the plain 80 gram copy paper. Now this is where you start to lose a bit of the, the depth of the colour, it starts to become a little bit more bland. Uh, Robert Oster inks tend to perform better on Rhodia than, uh, and Clairefontaine sort of paper than any other paper. Uh, Tom or River, it becomes a little bit more muted, uh, and then of course any of these sort of cheaper papers, it sort of does suck a bit of the colour out of the ink. Um, once again, it performed reasonably well. It's not going to bleed or feather too much at all. Um, until, you, of course, you get it to um, the cheap Spyrex sort of note paper uh, where it did sort of come through a little bit, um, particularly ghosting, uh, and there's some feather there that you can see in the writing as well. Uh, but that's not to be, well, that is sort of quite expected on this paper. This is not fountain pen friendly paper. Um, so if you're using a broad nib on paper like this, you are going to get feathering and bleed with most fountain pen ink, I would imagine. So as I said, this was done with a Twispy uh, Eco Broad. I've almost sort of run this dry. I've been using this ink for a, a, around a fortnight. Um, and I think it's just, I really, really like the ink a lot. Um, so if we, let's just do the uh, water resistance test sort of while we're here. Uh, and then we can see sort of what uh, score we can give it. So let's lay that down across the paper there. Give it a second to sort of move around. And while that's happening, I'll just read through these. So feathering, we've got low. Bleed is low. Saturation, it's a lightly saturated ink, but appropriately and quite nicely. Uh, shading is excellent. Sheen, there is none. Uh, cleaning is easy. I had this in another pen, actually. Actually, I should say at this point, I had this in a nib that was a, a drier, fine uh, point nib, and it really didn't write well. So I think this is an ink that is much better suited uh, to, as I say here, wet and broad uh, nibs. But it is easy to clean out of pens, uh, not a problem at all. Dry time is relatively slow. On this radio paper it was still wet at the 40 second mark as you can see 
down the bottom there. Value in Australia, this is $17 Australian, so it's not too bad. Putting that into comparison, it's a 50 ml bottle, um, which is the standard uh, 50 ml bottle from Robert Oster. Now, this retails for $17 in Australia. Something like a Diamine 80 ml retails for about 25. Um, so it's not too badly priced, you know, if you're thinking per milliliter or really on any scale. Um, okay, let's mop this up now and see what we've got. So as you can see, it's not got a high water resistance and that can also be shown with the, uh, the um, chromatography as well that we saw earlier. A lot of the ink, particularly the deeper colors, has moved uh, up there. And so you do lose a lot of the detail. Not an ink necessarily for archival use, I think we can say. So water resistance is, we'll say low. This is a good, what I might do is I just, if you can see here, I'll just do a quick squiggle with this ink actually because it's rather interesting to see the colour change uh, as it dries. It's quite, um, quite a nice sort of sh change of colour and it sort of mutes quite nicely. Okay, so what score do I give this ink? Well, look, I think it's a really nice colour. It performs well. It doesn't have that, sh uh, that sheen that we get from some Robert Oster inks. Um, but I think it's a really nice thing and the value is good. Um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, I really like working with this ink. I think the colour is great. Uh, I think, as I said, that shading particularly is beautiful. And it's nice to get a colour like this uh, from Robert Oster. There are other greens like uh, Forest Green and uh, Verde de Rio, which are sort of these muted greens, but they're a little bit darker. So this is a nice sort of, yeah, sort of more sort of cool green, if you will. Well, that was Robert Oster Avocado. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to drop me a message at any of the platforms listed below or on any of my videos here. You can also find me uh, on Instagram. I am at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, I'll put that down here. Uh, so yeah, please feel free to get in touch, see what I'm doing over there. And uh, I'd love to see your work too. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.